Good evening boys and girls and welcome to another reading with me, Good Night Stories. This evening we'll be reading Ruby, Blue and Blanket by Jane Hissey. Remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin our adventures. Ruby, Blue and Blanket by Jane Hissey. Ruby, Blanket and Blue were planning a game. Let's play dressing up so we don't look the same. We'll wear different things and we'll be in disguise. And let's give the funniest one a big prize. Blanket looked through a box for something to wear. He thought about stripes or some long yellow hair. I could be a zebra, but better than that, I'd dress up as a unicorn wearing this hat. Blue Rabbit shows hair and a flowery dress. I just need a crown and I'll be a princess. You can all bring me jewels and nice things to eat and I shall wear nothing at all on my feet. Now Ruby decided a witch would work well. With a hat and a broomstick she made up a spell and in through a window flew billions of bats and sources of milk for some very small cats. But I might be a pirate instead, she said. With an eye patch and a parrot who squawked all aboard, she walked at the gangplank waving her sword. I've sailed seven seas and I see land at last, she called from the top of the pirate ship's mast. Hmm, I might be a fairy instead, she said. With her own magic wand and her butterfly wings and some fairy dust that she sprinkled on things. She painted the flowers that grew all around and she painted anything else that she found. Ah, I could be a cowboy instead, she said. I would ride very fast holding on to my hat and lasso a cactus and sleep on a mat. I would cook my baked beans and wash up in the lake. I wouldn't be lonely, I'd have a pet snake. Well, I could be a ghost instead, she said. I would be all shapeless and floaty and white and tiptoe around in my sheet in the night. And if anyone said, are ghosts really true? I'd jump out to surprise them by bellowing, boo. Or I could be a mermaid instead, she said. Ruby liked her long hair and her fishtail feet. She swam in the sea and had seaweed to eat. But she sat on the rocks and she started to wish there was someone to play who wasn't a fish. So, I could be a spaceman instead, she said. I would fly in a rocket right up to the stars, have lunch on the moon and supper on Mars, play baseball with little green alien men, then wave from my spaceship and fly home again. Oh, I just can't decide, she cried. Then Ruby sat down on the floor and she sighed. I really can't choose what to wear, and I've tried. Is the cowboy hat best, or the fishtail feet, or the wings, or the wand, or the ghostly white sheet? I just can't decide, she cried. Don't worry, said Blanket. You don't have to choose. We'll mix up the hats and the costumes and shoes. Then we'll dress ourselves up in a mixture of things. We'll be pirates and spaceships and cowboys with wings. So Blanket dressed up as a four-legged fairy with a unicorn horn while Ruby went hairy. Blue Rabbit the Merwitch waved from his broom as he scattered seashells around in the room. And Ruby jumped up in the air and she cried, This is such fun, I don't have to decide. I can wear anything, I can be what I wish, a pirate princess or a unicorn fish. And the prize will be shared, she declared. Well boys and girls, what a fantastic adventure Ruby Blue and Blanket had. And it just goes to show, when you're playing games with your friends, you don't always have to stick by the rules. Thank you for joining me, Good Night Stories. Remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Good night, sleep tight.